Hi, Josh Apple here with the Raspberry Golf Academy. Today I'm at Virginia Golf Center and I'm going to talk about the length of the golf swing, specifically the length of the backswing. So on the PGA Tour, the average golfer rotates 90 degrees with their upper body and 45 degrees with their lower body. So if you can achieve that much rotation, then you should be swinging to a round parallel. You'll see most players in the PGA Tour swing to a round parallel with that amount of rotation. There are some that are a little shorter parallel, some that are a little past, but they're all in that general area because they're able to rotate that much. So that being said, most of us out there are not rotating as much as the PGA Tour, so your swing should not be at parallel or past. It should be short of parallel. So if you can rotate this much, great, swing that big. But for most of us out there, you're going to swing shorter. So let's say you average 70 degrees instead of 90 up here, and maybe 20 degrees instead of 45 down here with your hips, you're rotating about half as much as the PJ Tour. So your swing should not be as long as theirs. Maybe you swing to right there, and that's a good amount. If you're someone who has no hip rotation, we are gonna have a very compact short golf swing. A lot of times I see people trying to swing all the way back there who don't have the range of motion just because that's what you see on TV. Your swing should match what your body's capable of doing. When you watch my swing, I swing right to around parallel because my rotational values are very similar to the PGA Tour. Around 90 up here and around 45 degrees down here. So I'm going to hit a shot now and you'll see where I stop my swing. Very close to that parallel spot because my, ba my body is capable of that motion. And if yours isn't, don't try to get that far back.